Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. The season up. is spring, one of my favorites. Because it's spoonbill season in Oklahoma and the wild morel mushroom season almost everywhere else. Today it's a combination of several trips wow, with Terry we, and on one of them we're joined by go, Bob. Terry. Both Terry and Bob are experienced fishermen, but today they get to handle some Oklahoma paddlefish for the very first time. This stuff is really an experience. <laughs> All right, we've been uh, doing a little trolling here. And I think we got one on. We're gonna see if this is the best one I ever had on. What we're doing is pulling these barbless hooks with a good weight behind them down this river where we think the spoonbill are beginning to accumulate in pretty good numbers. This is what we call the old Oklahoma pole bender. Gotta look at them yet. We're in murky water here. And they like going in the deepest part of this channel, and it's pretty unnatural for them when we pull them up like this. I don't think they like it. This is pretty much the last day of March. And this is my first spoonbill bite of the season. And it's got me pretty well wrapped up. We can get a look at this guy. Look here, Terry. There we go. All right. All right, now we have limited staff in the boat today. So. And he's running the camera. So I'm going to be uh, trying to unhook this one myself. Here we go. Here we go. Good hook. Say the other guy said they were catching bigger earlier, so. Okay, this is a daily limit of one, but uh, if you release one, you can keep fishing, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let this guy go. He's in good shape. Woohoo! All right, everybody, this is number two. Got another little bite out here in the river we've moved down a little bit and we've been in about 25 foot of water along this bluff and we're seeing fish on the graph and he seems to be coming right here this one hasn't pulled much yet not acting like a spoonbill it's acting like something else I don't think this is a spoonbill <laughs> a carp <laughs> The carp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go, and it's a really good one too. It's a football-sized carp. Oklahoma salmon. Look, I didn't foul. Cut him in the mouth. He bit it. Didn't foul or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we let this guy go. We go back after. <laughs> the other boat sure left in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's my turn in the lucky seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're uh, trying to snag something bigger than that last carp. <laughs> You're biting today. <laughs> Feel like a really big one, but you know they're all good. Gotta keep the pressure on because we got a barbless hook on here. It's a 12 off hook. There's no barb on, so I gotta keep the pressure on the whole time. I haven't even seen this one yet, so I don't know what we got. But it feels kind of like a good one. Might be the best one I ever had on. Really wrapped up. Thrash around a bit. place here. There he is. Okay, that's uh, two paddlefish for us. In and out of the boat. Now, Terry, it's your turn. I'll run the camera and take pictures of you wrestling one in, one-handed like that. But uh, we had a, quite a trip down here today. I started off in Kansas, crossed into Missouri, and ended up down here in Oklahoma. I'm kind of glad we did. It's uh, paddlefish season down here in northeast Oklahoma, and uh, we're going to share it with you today on Season Chasers. Thanks for coming along. Well, I'll catch my breath. Woo woo! Waka waka. Well, it's Terry's turn in the lucky seat. All right, what do we got here, Terry? We got uh, flathead bait. Not a very big one. He's wrapped up good though. I think I can handle it. Okay. Easy unhook. There you go. Good job. Now let's get you a big one. <laughs> A really big one. This is a good spot in here. I think so. What do you think? I think we're I think we're on them. The whole point of this spoonbill fishing is trying to get a bigger one. And I've had a couple on today. I was able to get in. I got another one on here. But I still haven't found one that's the best one I ever had on yet. But there's might be this one, you never know. My buddy Jason always says that you look for the three B's out here when you're fishing. Either bait, birds, or boats. Today, we got a lot of boats out here, and that's a good sign that everybody's getting into the spoon bill. And here in Oklahoma, they've got a deal with the state research department here will pick up your fish if you want to keep one. Yeah, that's pretty small. We're going to have to let this guy go. That's all right. You're fun to catch. Thank <laughs> you. 
but it is bigger than mine. That was literally the smallest one I've ever seen. I think so. I've never seen one any smaller than that. <laughs> want to burn a tag on that one. The way the limits are here in Oklahoma, you can keep one a day, but when you keep two for the year, you're done fishing. That's all your season limit is, is two of these. So this is my third one today. But I've released them all. I'm going to release this one if you'll hold still. And let me. Fun to catch, fun to let go here in Oklahoma. Oh, look here. Before we let this guy go, look here, Terry. It's got a tag on it. Look here on the jaw, right here. I can't read the numbers on it. Huh. This one's been tagged, and it's a gold tag. They like to know this information sometimes. And uh, in good shape. We're going to let him go. And catch us a bigger one. <laughs> Thanks for coming along today on Season Chasers. It's spoonbill season in Oklahoma. More spoonbill wrestling with Terry and Bobby. And wild mushrooms. Coming up next on Season Chaser. Extreme environments can cause a spontaneous change in DNA, resulting in unexpected power and agility. Introducing the all-new, all-powerful Gator RSX 850i. 62 horsepower, a fully independent multi-link suspension, and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It's a whole new species of Gator. When it's time to buy a better boat, Albers is the place to get your best deal on a new Tracker or Nitro. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas, trade up to a new Tracker, ready for the lake, powered by Mercury Outboards. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas. Your ticket to the great outdoors is Tracker from Albers Marine. Albers Marine, Arma, Kansas, your Tracker and Nitro boats dealer, North Highway 69, Arma, Kansas. They're counting down the days till spring at Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. Now's the time to prepare your garden for the spring weather ahead. Blue Ribbon has hundreds of varieties of top quality garden seed so you can get started. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens, or a goofy goat, Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. You talk about a goofy goat, and this is the goofy goat right here. Today we're spoonbill snagging at Oklahoma's Grand Lake of the Cherokees. We're just south of the Twin Bridges State Park, and it's just about time for Bob's first spoonbill. All right, what do we got here, Bob? Big old Bill. Woo! Huh? Get him, man. Got him, man. Get him, man. Get him. Woo! <coughs> Got him? Got him for you. Yeah! You got Mr. Wiggly. Woo! Fish on, Dad! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get him. Uh, you gonna keep him? Here, you wanna use this? Oh. Wanna use this? No. Hold him by the bill, not, not in the, the tail. By the bill and the tail. Bill and the tail. Well, I can't hang on. This 50 pounds. <laughs> here, here, here. All right, let's get him back in the water as quick as you can. Well, you, wanna, you wanna hold him right in front of the mouth. The base of the of the bill and at the tail. All Season right. chasers, you gotta try it. Is that worth a walk a walk? Ah, Ed, let's get another one, boys. What do you say? 
I think they're in here. What do you think? Stacked in here like cord wood. Well, that wasn't our first bite, so. Let's go. Let's go get another one. Yeah, he's pulling. Be careful. You want to put <laughs> one of those gloves on? Hey, Terry, that's bigger than your last one. Thank God. Couldn't <laughs> have been smaller. Be careful oh, where that on, hook is. Oh! Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Good landing. I tried, Dad. Boy's blowing the water up, Andy. Easy with the hook. Here you go. You can grab him by the nose if that hook's in a bad spot. Stop. It's gonna get me all wet now. <laughs> Payback. Huh? I deserve it. Pulling the tip out. Grab him by the tail. You gotta grab him by the tail. Good job. All right, we got a moon out pretty good here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, there, good one. Looking good. That's quite a bit better than that other one. Good job. Saying in a fancier lease. Make sure he's doing good. Off. Man, I got soaked again. That's fun. Well, I'm gonna get big. Oh. Yeah, Ooh, what piece. do you say? Think about that. That's a lot better than the last one. What last one you talking about? The one that looked like uh, flathead yeah, bait. Yeah, Nano. Yeah, Smallest Nano. one I ever Nine saw. Nine pounder. <laughs> Twenty pound. Twenty five <laughs> pounder. Don't equal up. Show us what you cut that on. They were biting on these treble hooks that are barbless. But I did go to a bigger weight. I went to the eights. So we got a half pound of weight we're dragging through. A few right. knots in there, yeah, but uh, we're ready to go back out. We're marking a lot of fish. All right, well, let's catch another one. Spoonbill time here in the Osho River. Woo hoo! Whoa, there he goes, there he goes, there He's he running. goes. Keep him on. Back up at the top. Oh, man. Keep it on him. Yeah, I'm on him. I think I'll stand up. <laughs> my name, Spoon Bills McGee. All right, this is Terry's second one of the day, and it's about to come up here. Why don't I you think give it's us my biggest one ever? This is the best one you ever had on. I hope it's a giant bug. Make sure your drag's loose here, because it's going to run again. Boy's coming loosen, up. Loosen your drag. Whoa! This one's a better one. Whoa. This is a better fish. Get it by the tail. Hang on to him, Terry. Loosen your drag. You may pull, do that a time or two. Pull my panties down there. <laughs> Woo! Wow, that's 50 a 50 pounder, one. eh? That's a good one. Sweet. Yeah, that's uh, a salute. <laughs> Gave me the best. Good fish, good fish, good fun. Thanks. Let's catch another one. A bigger one. <laughs> a bigger a, one. You're going the right direction now, That's Terry. <laughs> I got my reprieve. Shit. From the smallest to the best so far. Here. He's camera shy. Now there is a glove down there below you. You got him right in the nose. Need some help here? 
Well, I don't know, it's pretty good size. Grab them by the tail if you can because of the way that yeah, it's hooked in the, the hook is in the nose. Oh, that's a big one. He's over 50, isn't he? I don't know. There's one way to find out. I think he's a tagger if you help me get him in. Alright. Now we thought we had a snag here, and we've got a minor correction, because we get right on top of it. What do you got, Terry? Looks like a pretty good one to me. It could be a keeper. He's a fat one. Hang on there. This was bigger than you think. Yeah. I can lift it. You're going to have to do both hands on it. And get that other glove underneath the uh, wheel. It's under tree. Come on. Okay. Double Come hands on. and stand up. Just pull him up. Both hands. Both hands. Stand up. You I can't get can. him. You got to stand up. He's in the boat. <laughs> Team effort. That's it. <laughs> How much is that? That's got to be over 50. Oh, it's a mounter. Yeah, I'd say that's... Call it a game. Call it a game. Get the, game get the, get the hook. Dagger. Get the hook. Wow, we slob. Way to go, Terry. All right. That would be a keeper. All right. Don't let him go. That's a big old pig. Good job there, Terry. Thanks. Spoonbill in the Osho River. Woke up freezing and in rain. But it was worth it. First fish of the day. All right, that's a good fish. Terry's yeah. honey hole. <laughs> Came down here for you. That's a keeper. Evans over 50. Well, the last one was 46.4. You know what this means? He's done fishing. Done fishing. The season is spring. And uh, you've already seen Terry get you in a couple of spoonbill this year. Well, this is also the season for morel mushrooms. And uh, we've been out getting some exercise today. And tell us what you found, Terry. There's probably about two dozen in this one spot here after about three miles of walking through the ticks. So uh, my daughter, the vegetarian, will be very happy. I'll have uh, finally enough morels probably just right through here and what we found earlier. But they're, uh, they're everywhere through right here. There's big ones from you all the way over to here. Like I said, at least 20. I'll just start right here cutting some of them. Okay, now here's how you do it, folks. Take a really sharp knife and you cut them off right at the ground. And they're hollow. They have white stems. And uh, these are white morels. And there's a whole bunch of them here. Woo-woo. What a treat. Mushroom harvest time. In this part of southeast Kansas, morels are prime in mid-April. But my friends up north in Michigan find their morels closer to Mother's Day in May. See how they're hiding from us? Right down here in the... They're everywhere right here. You really have to train your eye to spot mushrooms among all this natural camouflage out here in the woods. Yeah, look at all these right here. Here, let me hand you my bag so they'll fit in there well. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. These only really cost about a dime a piece out of your bag. Yeah. <laughs> here, I got another mess right here. Look at this. This is a four pack, right? A five pack. Look at that. Five of them, folks. Right in one nice little patch. A 
We're going to put some of these in Terry's bag because mine's getting kind of heavy to carry. <laughs> I was, I'm starting to feel sorry for him. Not. <laughs> That's why you're doing it in my bag. <laughs> when did you see his bag? There's these, these, these. And here's mine so far. We'll get a good look at them later. Go ahead and top it off. Okay. Where you didn't get them all, did you? Oh, there's more over here. There's that. Okay, everybody. Uh, we've had a uh, pretty good, uh, oh, about an hour and a half this morning. It's a pretty good exercise. And Terry, I kind of call uh, uh, morel mushroom hunting kind of um, like Easter egg hunting for adults. And uh, that's what we've been doing out here in the forest today. We've been taking our net bags and trying to fill them up as best we can with some of these. And we got some really big ones in here. Terry has some really obscene names for some of them. But uh, we got some really nice fresh morels here today. And when you go to finding them, this season has been one of the best years for morels that I've ever seen. There have been some years I don't get half a sack like this all year if it's extra dry or if we're having some frost or something like that. But we've just had ideal conditions this season. And uh, here's what we got to show for it. And... Uh, I've heard some stories, Terry, about some people catch, uh, catching, finding some of these as big as a soda pop can. Now, not me. We haven't found any that big yet, but we're not done. And uh, we got room for these. Uh, they are, you know, really, really uh, fragile. Uh, they only come up for a few days a year, these morels. But uh, we've got some ways of processing them and freezing them uh, so we can enjoy them uh, beyond this real short season. And it's one of those natural foods that uh, you go buying these in a supermarket. I've heard they sell for up to $85 a pound. So um, we got a better deal than that today. And uh, appreciate you coming along on this and sharing this morel mushroom hunt with us. And uh, you got something to take back to the girls, don't you? That's it. We'll <laughs> take another long waka waka. Waka waka. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.